Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I am certified life coach Talia Sage, combining my natural gifts of intuition with the science of life coaching to help you navigate through life's up and downs in order to help you create your best life possible. Today's video message will be healing from your higher self. Uh, before we get into it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It lets YouTube know that you like what you see and that you want to see more of it. And it helps me to accomplish my mission, which is to reach and help as many people as possible to live their best lives. As I said, so this video message will be messages from your higher self. But the way that Spirit brought this reading to me today um, is more so like to help you get clarity within certain situations in your life that may still be affecting you, that may still bring you down, cause you pain, make you angry, whatever it is. These can be the messages that come in, may be messages from your higher self or from the higher self of the person or people involved who maybe hurt you. But really the message is, it's really just to give you healing so that you can forgive, find closure within situations or a situation, and then move on, creating your best life possible. It's a really somber feeling that we have going on today. Um, try to keep it a little bit more lighthearted, but this is what, what spirit brought to me today. So I'm just gonna burn some sage. This, I feel like it's gonna get kinda deep. All right, I want you all, if you are still here at this point, take a few deep breaths. <sighs> Center yourself. <sighs> Ground your energy. <sighs> and I want you to take a moment to think about a situation, a person, an event that has still sort of had some control over you that you know makes you feel sad makes you feel angry makes you confused um still questioning the whys think about that for a moment and then when you have that in your mind you could even choose multiple different events if you want and then choose a pile for each event but when you have those thoughts in your mind then go ahead and cast your gaze over these crystals. We're going to have three pile options today. Group one, group two, group three. Group one is this agate from Lake Superior. Group two is this fluorite heart crystal. And then group three is this peacock ore. As usual, this is a general reading. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest for someone else. Not everything mentioned in each group may resonate with you, but if you're called to multiple different piles, that means that you have messages across different groups. So go with it. Don't overthink it, don't second guess yourself. Watch what you're being called to watch. You may even want to watch all of them because they could all have messages for you and that's okay. Timestamps will be listed in the description box. Feel free to find your timestamp and then fast forward to your messages. I'll get started with group. Hello, group one. If you chose this agate from Lake Superior, these will be your messages of healing from your higher self 
or the higher self of those involved with your situation. So as I'm channeling messages from the crystals, I am going to be pulling some cards to get more information. But, so these first tarot cards that come out are going to help me to get more insight about your situation, um, to maybe understand what happened, get some details about it. If what comes out doesn't 100% resonate with what happened, or what you're thinking about, that's okay. Um, these are just extra, extra tools for validation, I guess. But if it doesn't 100% resonate, that's okay. You will still have messages later on in the reading. But back to this agate. Immediately as I was drawn to pull out the agate, I heard the Adele song, rolling in the deep and i mean first off agates are made in i believe is it just lakes it might be made in many different places but i know that they are definitely made in lakes and they're made by the waves hitting rocks up against other rocks and you know agates get formed and i feel like what that's telling me is that Whatever the situation was, whatever this thing that happened is, it has really shaped who you are today. How you see the world, how you show up in the world, how you look at yourself even. And it's definitely, my heart is just lighting up for you right now. My heart chakra is, it's something that's really shaped you. Uh, for better or for worse, however you want to look at it. Um, first off, your higher self does want you to know that it has shaped you for the better. However, there are still things, um, lessons you need to learn from it, closure, I guess, that you need to receive, which is why you clicked on this video. Whatever the situation was, it's like this agate. I hope you can see it really well. We see around, you know, the outside of the stone, if it hadn't been um, sliced right, you could see how it just looks like an ordinary stone. But as you slice into it, as they did, you move in and you see the different complex layers you see the dark going around that leads into the more crystalline structure inside, that beautiful structure inside. And that's a message that your higher self would like you to know is that there's so much beauty and goodness inside of you and you needed that darkness of this situation, whatever it was. to fully bring out this goodness in you, to, to sh help shape that beauty inside of yourself that you carry. Whatever the situation was, it could have made you more empathetic to other people. It could have made you more caring and um, an activist or being more involved within your community um, just changed you, not necessarily changed you, but ma but made it so you wanted to do better than what was done to you. And your higher self would like you to know that that is the duality of life. With the sweets come the sours. You know, you take those lemons and you make lemonade. That actually came up in another reading previously too. No matter how dark the situation was, no matter how big of a stain you felt it left on you, it created something very beautiful out of it, which is also why it had to happen. It, it woke, it awoken a part of yourself that would have been hidden otherwise. All right, back to Adele, rolling in the deep. Um, 
There's a fire burning in my heart Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark Finally I can see it crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your shit fair See how I move with every piece of you Don't underestimate the things that I will do there's a fire burning in my soul, reaching a fever. Well, actually, I don't know the words, as you can see. But <laughs> what that is telling me, what your higher self wants you to know, that whatever the situation was, it is. it provided the fire that you needed for, for your future. I don't know, the fire that you needed to try to change the world, the fire that you needed to be a better parent than you had perhaps, the fire that you needed to care more than the average person cares. This fire, this situation, it opened your eyes up to the matrix, so to speak. What everyone else takes for granted and you know, I feel like everyone else, you may even see the people around you as people like lemmings, like they just flow with whatever they see in front of them, not really fully being in tuned to the nuances of things and seeing how the things that they do affect other things and other people. And it's really opened you up. It's made you more empathetic. It's given you a fire to give better to the world, to give better to the people around you. It ignited you. All right, your first card out is the Five of Swords for the situation. Try to get some insight on what it was. Um, five of Swords. Let's put your crystal over here. This could be some um, uh, verbal abuse, emotional abuse. Um, this could have been someone just very cutthroat with the words that they would say to you. Maybe even cut you out of a situation. Disowned you perhaps even. Um, being drawn to this Oh my goodness, this is emotional. This is, yeah, this is heavy. This is emotional. I'm gonna pull my sage down here. Uh, being drawn to the worm in the card. And when worms get cut in half, they regenerate. And that's like a symbol for what you've experienced. Um, Someone literally used their words, their thoughts, um, you know, turn those things even into actions, perhaps, where they disconnected you from a part of yourself. That's that matrix. They disconnected you from the matrix. And although it was extremely painful and hurtful, and I feel like it made you question yourself, doubt yourself. Um, you could have been in shock. You could have been in a bit of denial. Next card out is the Ace of Pentacles. This situation took your innocence in some way. It cut you off from your innocence in some way. And it set you on this new way of looking at the world, looking at people. Um, I mean, that's how most traumatic situations go, right? This could have been someone being uh, belittling you, uh, bullying you. It cut you off. Cut you off from that innocence. You may have felt like your innocence was lost at some point. 
um, this could have made you feel alone if this was quite literally being like disowned. Either way, there was feelings of alone, whether or not you were completely disowned or not. It was just like the bond was broken. I'm seeing um, Merida when she cut the tapestry. The bond was broken and it started this new phase of your life of seeing the world differently seeing yourself differently, maybe even seeing this person differently. But your higher self would like you to know, and this person's higher self, by the way, is that first off, this was a contract this was a soul contract that you both entered into before incarnating in this life. And it had to happen so that you could get this new perspective on life. So you could detach from the matrix, so to speak, and see, open up yourself to that, to your internal beauty and abundance because there's something in you that is just so, like I'm being drawn to all these, the radiating lines outside of here and the crystals inside the agate. The beauty that is you at your core. Oh, like this fire here in the middle, the red. It's a fire burning deep inside your soul that opened you up to that. It fully awakened that fire within you. And it is necessary, it's necessary for the world, it's necessary for the people around you. Next card out is solidarity. I respect the power of solidarity and look for opportunities to unleash it. When a loved one has to do something tough, I'll heed their often silent but sometimes loud and whiny call and participate in the toughness with them. Everything is easier when a partner cohort sidekicks joins you. The only thing that's not easier is feeling resentment, which I suppose is the overall point. Exactly what I've been saying, like it opened you up to being a kinder, more empathetic person. Whereas people around you, um, you show up for people. That's how I'm going to say it. You show up. Because you know what it feels like to be alone. You know what it feels like to not have support, to not have people there to commiserate with you, to be your cheerleader, to help you out when you're low. That's the duality. You, you've experienced the lowness, the aloneness, the not having support, the not having a cheerleader. So now you make sure that you do better. You make sure that you show up. And although we wish, right, that there were easier ways to learn the lessons that we have had to learn in life, we don't get to dictate how those lessons show up. But this situation, whatever it was in your life that left you feeling rejected, dejected, it opened you up It opened you up. It ignited that fire, that passion within you to make the world a better place, to help people, to show up for people, give them the support, the solidarity that you maybe never had. All right, your next card out is 11. Changed in the night. You have changed quickly. Go along with that ace 36 shine bright like a candle you will make it through this and 14 clock time time pressure in a rush
whatever the situation was, it, once again, like I said, it changed you. It brought you into this new way of looking at the world, of this new way of being. It, it changed, it gave you, it was the catalyst that you needed in order to become the beautiful hearted person that you are at your core. Not to say that it wasn't always there, but it was the catalyst that ignited this fire, this drive within you to be a good person, to show up for people. And yes, it was like, like you changed overnight. Like one day you were one person and then this situation happened and you turned into someone new. It needed to happen the way it happened in order to create the change because it was like a switch. It really was. Um, it could have been like from going from this super innocent place, maybe seeing the world a bit naively, I hate to say. I mean, that's how we all want to see the world especially as children, if this is something that happened in childhood, and then it made you grow up really quick. Seeing the world for what it is, seeing people for who they are. Whatever the situation was, it's put this energy on you as well of like time is running out like you don't have enough time to accomplish your goals like maybe you felt stunted at some during some point in life after this situation and now it's like you're playing catch up because maybe you were stuck in having to survive having to fend for yourself having to figure things out on your own because you didn't have the support the guidance sorry group one the camera cut out um not exactly sure where I left off, but um, I think I was saying that the situation could have stunted you in some way, maybe because you did not have the financial support that you could have needed, um, maybe because you were always trying to survive because you just did not have people that you could turn to for help, for guidance, for advice. And now you may feel as though time is running out, like you're behind in some way, like you don't have as much money saved up by this, by the age that you are, um, or like you don't feel like you have accom accomplished enough by your current age. Like you maybe thought you would have had more money saved up or you would have finished college by now or landed in a career or had a, you know, gotten married, had a family, whatever it is. Your higher self would like you to know that your time is not running out, that you still have time to accomplish all the things that you wanted, that you want to accomplish, that this past situation is not holding you back. It's only going to hold you back if you allow it to, if you allow yourself to be stuck in it. Um, not forgiving the past, not releasing it. The situation happened to help you to step into your full power so that you could shine, shine bright like a candle, like this card says. Things had to happen exactly Things had to happen exactly as they happened in order to break, break some sort of karmic cycle. That's, oh, that's why I was seeing Merida. Um, did that get in on the video before? I hope it did. Um, where I was seeing Merida, where she cut the tapestry that was her family's. And, you know, the whole folk folklore going into that situation was there is another king in the past who broke the bonds within his family and you know it went very poorly for him but the situation had to happen 
to break the bonds so that you could get out of some sort of karmic cycle. Whether this was with family or karmic cycles, like within your soul, like past life things that you had yet to overcome. That's why it happened. So that you could break these cycles and finally begin to paint, to create the life that you wanted, just like this beautiful painting. Um, I can't remember who made this painting, so if you do, please let me know in the comment section. But you would not have been able to shine as brightly, to be as empathetic, caring, kind, giving, whatever it is, if you had not gone through this past situation that changed how you viewed the world. The next card that I wanted to fall out for you is humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life with the heart chakra. This situation thrust you into this serious energy because once again, I feel that this was something that happened early on in life where you were very impressionable and it changed you overnight. It took away that innocence. It took away um, that lightheartedness. You might be someone today who is considered very serious. You might feel like you are too serious, like it's hard for you to let your guard down, hard for you to trust, hard for you to really enjoy life. But your higher self is here to tell you that it's time to enjoy life, to find the humor in life. You laughing and having fun, seeing the humor is going to help to heal your heart and allow you to release the pain of this past situation. Look at this. Five of Swords coming out for you again. Someone was a dick. <laughs> That's all I, I have to say. Like someone was a real dick to you, group one. And I'm sorry, that's not okay. But in someone treating you this way, right? Part of the lesson, part of the reason it happened was so that you could learn to speak up for yourself, to fend for yourself, to be your own hero, to learn how to, how to put boundaries up how to no longer be afraid to, oh, the situation happened to teach you how to ask for what you want. It, it happened to teach you how to not accept less than what you deserve. You maybe had to walk away from some people if um, this was like a family member or a friend who was still in your life that you couldn't get away from. You maybe reached a point where you decided it's time to, to walk away from them. You know, misery loves company, which is why they did exactly what they did to you, why they said what they said, why they treated you the way that they treated you because misery loves company. And if you haven't already, it's time to step away from that misery is what your higher self would like you to know. And if you have already stepped away and put up those boundaries, then that was part of the lessons that you came to learn. I'm hearing blood is thicker than water. This could have been something that was said to you. Um, this could have been like a family member who try to make you accept poor treatment and they would say things like blood is thicker than water that is emotional abuse blood is not thicker than um how should i say this just because someone is related to you does not mean that you have to put up with that poor treatment and that is why this situation had to happen was for you 
to learn to step into your power and to not accept anything less than what you deserve. So whether you're still learning those lessons or you're already to that point, this is what the situation came to teach you. This is how you actually heal and let it go. Whether or not this is, if this is someone who's still in your life that you know that you don't want to walk away from, that is okay. You don't have to walk away from them, but you have to be able to put up boundaries and speak up for yourself. Your next card out is the Two of Pentacles. You're being called to find balance. This situation has thrown you out of balance. It's maybe put you into this place where you're very blunt, where um, you think that you're just being honest and upfront, but it comes off very harshly. If that is you, you're being called to learn how to balance those feelings. Once you heal the situation completely, then you will find more balance within the way you speak, the way that you address people, the, you know, maybe, um, the quick judgments that you may have. Also, this Two of Pentacles goes with this um, clock time card. You might be overworking yourself, group one, due to these issues. Once again, due to feeling like you're behind, due to feeling like You've had to work even harder to get what most people have because you did not have the love and support in your corner. You're being called to really to evaluate re re or e evaluate that within your life and to come into balance with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Why are you doing the things that you do in life? Is it because they actually make you happy or is it because of these past situations that have made you feel like you have to keep moving or like if you stop to take a rest, you're lazy or if you stop to take a rest, these emotions are going to come in and take control. You're being called to juggle it, to balance life better, not be so serious and find the humor within life. You may even want to join some sort of support group where you can speak about these painful situations where you can find some solidarity. There are people out there who have experienced what you've experienced or similar situations where they know the feelings that will be able to give you that solidarity and support that you need. This channel that is what this channel is for. For those of us, which is most of the people in the world who have been through difficult situations to come together and help support each other through it. And finding that solidarity, that support where you can get things off of your chest, you will be able to bring yourself back into balance where you can be finally, I want to say, see the lighter side of life, find humor within life again, not always being on guard, not always waiting for that next shoe to drop. Then your final card out is the Wheel of Fortune. Doing all these things will begin to turn the wheel in your favor. It will allow you to release this Three of Swords that's at the bottom of the deck. That is the pain, that's the heartache, Find support, learn to balance your work and life, balance um, the seriousness with the levity. And you will begin to see how the world takes on, hmm, you'll begin to see the world differently.
You're about to step into your power if you have not already group one where you are able to literally create your best life possible because you've seen what you don't want the duality right you've already seen what you don't want you've already experienced those feelings those emotions and now going forward with balancing out these emotions you will be able to experience the other end of the spectrum the joy the humor the love the support duality you you've already gone through the worst of it is what your higher self would like you to know you've already gone through the worst of it you're about to experience now the best of it so do the work that you feel you need to do find a support system go to a therapist work with a spiritual life coach such as myself if that's what you're called to do but do the work to balance these emotions that you have within yourself. Balance the emotions of feeling like time is running out, feeling as though um, you, you maybe can't put up boundaries. Or if it's the opposite, where you might be a, a bit too aggressive with the way you speak because you don't want people to trample on you again. Whatever it is, you're being called to find a balance. And that balance begins when you Heal the situation and move past it. There's so much goodness waiting for you. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep showing the beauty that's within yourself to the world. And if you have not fully been showing that to the world, step into it. As you heal others, you heal yourself. And the good that you put out will return to you. The worst is over, group one. I just can't say that enough. The worst is over. If this resonated with you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personal, um, personalized coaching or a private reading, feel free to find my email listed in the description box below. Thank you for being here and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, group two. If you chose this fluorite heart crystal, these will be messages of healing from your higher self. I'm just going to burn some sage because as I said at the beginning, these messages have been getting deep. But fluorite crystal. Before, when we were doing the pile selection and I held this crystal up, I was really drawn to the different waves within the crystal. And it made me think of like the butterfly effect, how everything affects everything else. Everything is connected. I was drawn to say that you may be dealing with some digestive digestion issues, um, issues around your stomach. Maybe even random pains in your body that you don't understand. It is because of the situation that you are thinking about. Everything is connected. going to pull some tarot cards to get some to try to get some insight on what this situation could have been for you know that if the scenarios that come up for me are not exactly what happened to you that's okay it does not mean that you don't have messages in the reading it just means that I'm picking up on other people's energy more maybe they needed to get the validation more Either way, though, I'm feeling as though there have been some health issues. I'm getting the tingles as I say this, that you're not fully sure of where they're coming from. You know, no, maybe you haven't been the best about eating the best or exercising all the time, drinking enough water, but still you're like, the problems that I'm having don't 
makes sense, right? It could be things like gut issues, you know, a lot of gut issues, um, IBS, uh, dealing with constipation, random stomach pain. You could even have like issues like fibromyalgia or um, just random things that seem to pop up and you, there's no full understanding of where they're coming from. Your higher self would like you to know that it is coming from this past situation, from the stress of it, from, I don't know, the shock the fear, the cortisol that it ejected into your system. Your first cards out are the Four of Wands in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. So whatever the situation was, it could have had to do with a strong masculine figure in your life. Could have been a father, a grandfather, could have been um, a lover, a best friend, it doesn't necessarily have to be a male. It could just be someone with very masculine qualities. Someone who is maybe just very aggressive. Someone who, you know, maybe looked like a man, even if they were not a man, just had very masculine features even. Whatever it is, I feel like this is very connected to your home life, um, your sense of security and stability. Whatever this was, this is a situation where you foot should have been able to feel safe and protected, but you weren't. Whether this could be um, your parents got a divorce at any age. I mean, it affects people at all ages. Whether this could have been um, physical abuse. Either way, whatever the situation was, is you should have felt protected. You should have been protected, but you were not. Oh, I just realized this. Uh, the Emperor is also four. If this is physical, sexual abuse group two, I am very sorry. That is the message that I am receiving here. Especially since we have pleasure coming out in reverse. I give myself permission to feel pleasure and I let that pleasure rush into my life in a decadent display of over-the-top abundance. Then I realize that pleasure has been waiting at my door for a long time. It's just that pleasure, pleasure doesn't knock on doors because loud noises aren't super pleasant. This is deep. This is, oh, spirit. They got me on one today, you guys. This is hard stuff. Whatever the situation was, it took away your, you being able to enjoy yourself. This could have been, once again, I'm not gonna keep saying it. I already said it before, but forms of abuse, right? Um, where you could have been, someone could have physically hurt you or they could have projected this energy onto you where you were not allowed to be in your own body, to explore your body, to, you know, they could have made you feel ashamed because you were a human with Because, just made you feel ashamed of your own sexuality and sensuality, perhaps. Could have really kept you under lock and key. Um, you know, really controlled you in some ways. 
did not allow you to express yourself and grow into your own self. Next up, we have falling in reverse. Another four, the unknown descent momentum change. I feel like whatever the situation was, this person made you feel as though you fell from grace. Maybe like you fell from their grace, um, like you really disappointed them in some way or, or they fell from your grace because of how they treated you, because of how they hurt you. Why are you going so deep today, spirit? Why? All of these groups today, I feel like they have a common message of duality. <sighs> Getting the chills as I say that. Message of duality, right? For those of us, well, for everyone, right? We're meant to experience the opposites. Some of us have more extremes within those opposites. For instance, those of us who've experienced physical abuse, emotional, mental abuse, that is like the lowest end on one of the on the spectrum, right? But also, what that means is that we're meant to experience the other side of that spectrum, which is the goodness, the love, pleasure. Enjoying that pleasure. Feeling stable. We have all these fours in reverse, which is telling me that this situation for a long time made you feel unstable, unsafe, unsupported. And although this thing put you in this energy, your higher self wants you to know that you're meant to experience the opposite. All these fours, all these cards really are meant to turn upright at some point in your life. And it begins with you doing the work to heal from these past situations. Them turning upright means that you feel like you have a safe home, like you feel like you have a loving home support system, where you feel like you get to be perhaps the king in your own life, the emperor of your own life, or like you have that loving emperor type energy around you and finding someone else to give you that support that you need, that love that you need. You're meant to experience all the joys and pleasures of life, not feeling ashamed of your sensuality or sexuality, not having it used against you, not I don't know what your situation is. I'm feeling it's very heavy and I'm trying not to go too deep since this is a video on YouTube. You have felt as though you have been falling since this situation occurred. But you're meant to land on solid ground. Your higher self is calling you to embrace the unknown, embrace change. This situation put you into an energy of being on high alert all the time, I feel like. Always wondering, worrying. Oh, bottom of the deck energy that we had over here is worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It put you into a state of constant worry, I feel like. Worrying about perhaps your kids, if you have children now, about their safety. Worrying about your own safety. Worrying about not being able to go walking down the street at night. Whatever it is. It put you into this energy. But it also, it happened so that you can learn to take yourself out of it and experience that other extreme, like I just said, of 
finding that pleasure, feeling safe, feeling secure, finding humor. Humor came out with as your next card. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, heart chakra. This also came out in group one, if you were drawn to group one at, at, at all. Your higher self is calling you to focus on the lighter side of life. If you will allow yourself to find joy in, your, in the moments, to laugh at situations, to seek out um, experiences that will help you laugh, help you feel lighthearted, then that is how you uh, will also begin to heal from this situation and take back your power over it. Your next cards out are Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and then you also have Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, followed by the Hermit. going to cover up her nakedness because YouTube doesn't like it. <laughs> your higher self would like you to focus on being your own support. Focus on creating the pleasure, the joy that you want to experience in life to stop worrying the stress, the worry, that is what is causing any of the health issues that you have been experiencing, causing any pain or sluggishness, fatigue, whatever that you have been experiencing. You might need to... Um, if you're feeling a calling, right, to go see a therapist, join a support group, work with a life coach such as myself, then you're being called to do that. You're being called to find the support that you need that will help you to do the work to set off on a new journey for yourself where you can see the lighter side of life, where you can allow yourself to feel pleasure and joy and not feel ashamed of it or guilty for it. Where you can feel like you are on solid ground. And the Hermit card being under that Eight of Cups is telling me that you're going to find that within yourself. The reason that this happened was so that you could learn to find it within yourself. Find that support within yourself. Love yourself unconditionally. No matter what anyone else says or does around you, to fully love yourself. Hmm. Okay, look at this. Under your hermit, where you will find all the answers within you. Once you choose to do that, Justice will come in. That doesn't mean that the person who hurt you is going to be hurt, but it means that you're going to get your just dues. That's that um, balancing of the scales coming in. You've already experienced the worst of the worst. Now, the goodness will start to come in and balance those scales in your favor. And when that happens, when that balance happens, you step into this queen of pentacles. You're like on a knight's journey right now as this knight of pentacles, trying to maybe make sense of your life, um, change how you see the world, change how you show up in the world, let go of the worry and the stress. You're on this knight's journey right now, about to leave it all behind. 
or that is what your higher self is wanting you to do is embark on this night's journey leaving this ish in the past and learning how to love and support yourself and allow yourself to find to feel pleasure in the humor in life but you will end up as this queen of pentacles just so abundant within yourself maybe even abundant financially followed by the six of wands victory recognition support 33 33 on the clock as i say that <laughs> and look the ten of cups i can't even you have so much goodness waiting for you group two so much goodness you've already experienced the worst of the worst and this is the duality right here showing up in your reading this is what you have to look forward to complete happiness and fulfillment happy home happy family perhaps That's what's waiting you. Oh, and look, nine of cups underneath it. I can't even make this stuff up. Group two. I don't know what you're currently doing at the moment to heal from these situations, to release them, to forgive them, let them go. Whatever it was, it put you into this energy of not feeling completely stable within this world. Whether that's emotionally unstable, your health being unstable, um, even mentally unstable because you're not allowed to release the worry, the stress. It's put you into this high anxiety energy. Whether or not the people around you see it or not, that is where you are. Maybe overthinking, always questioning other people and yourself even, not fully able to enjoy life. For, for guilt or shame or just not being able to trust. But as you do the work to find the support that you need to work on yourself, you will begin, you will be able to embark upon a new journey, which is, I feel like discovering yourself, discovering what lights you up, what makes you feel good. Seeing the humor in life. And as you do so, you bring in the duality that you were always meant to experience, which is the joy and the goodness of life. Go within, I feel like, and really ask yourself why you do what you do, why you overthink. Um, maybe do some research on trauma and health, how it affects your health. Um, as you begin to find those answers, you will begin to balance out the scales, bringing that duality into play for yourself and bringing the goodness and bringing the abundance into yourself. And you will be very successful in doing so. So don't give up. Keep working towards this healing. Keep working towards forgiveness and loving yourself because you have so much to look forward to, so much, so much happiness to look forward to. Take some time out and really, and allow yourself to play. Allow yourself to play, watch a comedy, um, go take a class that you've always wanted to take, spend time with friends. Let your hair down, let your guard down. That is what your higher self would like you to know. Group two, if this resonated with you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personalized coaching session or private reading, you can find my email listed in the description box below. Feel free to email me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Goodbye, low group three. It's going to burn some sage here. These readings have been very heavy as i knew they would be so we're just gonna clear the energy a bit all right you chose the peacock or hmm. 
I'm going to pull some tarot cards to try to get some information on your situation. Know that if the exact scenario does not come up, it doesn't mean that this pile is not for you. It just means that someone else's energy uh, needed more validation than you did, and that's okay. But the message that I was receiving with this peacock or crystal is that whatever happened to you, it happened because somebody could see the joy and the light that you are. They could see your beauty, just like the peacock, like that rare beauty. They could see it within you and just like group two, I think I said it, or maybe it was group one, misery loves company. They were jealous. Whatever people did or said to you, they were jealous. They were jealous of your beauty, your innocence, your light, your joy, your goodness. And it's like, they couldn't find it for themselves, so they st stole it from you, or they tried to steal it from you. Group one, or group, okay, I just said group one, so maybe you want to go watch group one. But your first card out is the three of cups. Exactly the energy that I was just feeling. Like, they saw it within you, so they wanted to take that light for themselves. They were jealous. This could have been a situation where you had friends who started gossiping and maybe turned their backs on you. This could have been a situation where someone took advantage of you because you had something that they wanted. The next cards out are the Ace of Cups and the Magician. Usually, these are all very good cards, right? Usually, but since this does have to do with your higher self and past situations that have hurt you, once again, it's the same message that I channeled in the beginning, is that people were jealous of you. They wanted what you had. Whether or not you were a child, whether or not um, you even felt like you had very much, they saw the love and the goodness that is you. They saw your heart. And they were jealous. I'm being shown trolls. <laughs> trolls with um, Anna Kendrick and... Justin Timberlake and we're talk they were talking about is it the Gorgons where they would take the trolls and eat the trolls to be happy because they were not happy they couldn't feel happiness unless they were eating a troll that is like that is the epitome of what happened to you group three other people or persons around you were so unhappy that the only way that they could see themselves being happy was to hurt you in some way. Whether that was cutting you out, gossiping about you, um, I just heard manipulating, like manipulating your heart in some way. They were jealous, boo. Your next card out is depth. As new people show up in my life, I look for all the weird, wonderful, complex layers below the surface. I can't be surprised by someone's depth of character unless I'm willing to peel back the outer layers and go a little deeper. It's like the brand new saying goes, don't judge an onion by its haircut. <laughs> Very judgmental energy. Ugh. I'm feeling like there is bullying, like there is just rumors being spread, like um, people just, just a lot of gossip that mm -hmm. 
this could have been an, uh, a f new friend group that you were trying to become a part of. And maybe it was like they pretended to be your friend or friends, but then uh, behind your back, they were talking about you. They were hating on you. Feeling like an energy of just, yeah, people being nice to your face, but really just being bitches behind your back. It happened because your heart is so pure and so open. It's like you are accepting of other people's quirkiness and their weirdness. You are so accepting of people, but you came into contact with people who were not accepting at all, who wanted what you had, that joy, that innocent way of looking at the world, that curiosity. And so they did what they could to tear you down and to tear it away from you. Your next card out is 23. We're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. 44, 44 on the clock as I say that. You may have been drawn to group two Showing up in reverse. We're all a little mad here. I feel like in this situation, you could have been made to feel like you had to fit in. Um, or maybe that's something that you carry with you now since this situation of occurred of feeling as though you have to fit in, like you have to change yourself in order to not break the mold in order to not uh, stand out in any way. Everyone's a little different. This could have been a situation where you were really judged. I mean, I'm feeling that. Just lots of judgment, lots of cattiness whether they were male or female, lots of just hating and being jealous. Whether or not you felt like there was even anything to be jealous of, they saw the light that was you. They saw it and they wanted to take it. They saw the innate happiness that was you and they wanted to destroy it because they themselves did not feel that. Happiness in reverse. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Next, you have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Heart chakra here, crown chakra here, and then we have self-esteem in reverse. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. This situation put you into this place it really stole your innocence like you were this curious happy person at your core and it changed you you know like you owned who you were you loved who you were and it changed you to questioning yourself always being concerned about what other people were thinking about you perhaps it took um that happy-go-lucky childlike skipping everywhere energy it took it away from you it put you into this constant place of always worrying once again about what other people are thinking of you it really affected your self-esteem you may be someone who walks around now just so concerned so concerned with how other people are seeing you maybe always feeling like you have to have your hair and makeup done be dressed to the nines or else people are judging you um Ugh, I hate, I, okay, don't say hate. I really dislike this energy that has been placed on you, group three. It's not okay. But your higher self really wants you to know 
that the only reason this happened was because your light was so bright, because you were such a natural beauty. You were such a high vibe, joyful soul. Your higher self is coming through to tell you to not let anything steal your joy, not let anything steal your thunder. You were given this rareness, this rare beauty, this um, childlike wonder and innocence for a reason. It's part of the higher plan that has been for you. You were given this um, quality of being able to accept people and offer that unconditional love to people because that is what this world needs. Don't let haters take you out of your beautiful energy. Don't let haters make you hate yourself, question yourself. If anyone Okay, this came up in another reading too, like this mama bear energy. Spirit, everything happens for a reason, group three. But spirit is really like, don't let anything steal your thunder. Don't let anything put you into this place of being worried about how other people are going to see you and judge you. If they're judging you negatively, poorly, that says more about them than it does about you. It says nothing about you. It says everything about them. Don't let people steal your happiness. Nine of Swords just came out. This is that low self-esteem. This is the worrying, the anxiety, the stress. This situation happened so that you could Learn to love yourself so much that no one else could ever, that no one else could ever make you doubt yourself. This situation happened to give you the strength that you would need to fully love yourself. Because, next we have the world coming out, because... I feel like you have a big mission to help the world. You're meant to be in the limelight. You're meant to be seen because there's something so rare in you that spirit gave you to share with the world. This situation happened so that you could Grow a thick skin, I want to say. Become resilient enough that when you enter into this purpose that you have in the world, the haters, the judgments, the mockery will not be able to affect you. It won't stop you from sharing the message that you have. And I feel like you have a very strong message of love and self-worth acceptance that you're meant to share in this world. But first, you can't share that message until you learn it within yourself. And you also won't be able to step into this purpose, this calling that you have until you grow a thick enough skin that other people's thoughts, projections, ideas do not have any control over you. Yep, there you are. I love this. Validation. You're stepping out as the Hierophant. You're meant to be a mentor, a teacher in some way. You might already feel it. And bottom of the deck energy is the Emperor. <laughs> That's you. That's you. I'm getting like guru. Although I hate saying guru because no one ever knows exactly everything. But like you're meant, you have a strong message that is meant to be shared. And you're meant to be seen by people. 
there is something so unique about you that will just draw people in that is why i drew these people in because they your light was so bright that it was blinding them and instead of embracing the light they chose to fight it you're meant to be the light group three and this situation came to teach you how to stand up for yourself and to not care about what other people think. Your higher self would like you to begin to do the work to master your self-esteem, master your self-confidence, to let go of worry and to step back in to that childlike innocence and wonderment and curiosity that you have or had but you still have it because that curiosity is going to lead you to many places in life it's going to lead you to helping to guide and lead others and it's going to help you to build an empire You have a big mission, group three. And I'm getting the chills. I think you already know it. You're meant to help people embrace their quirkiness, their uniqueness. You're meant to help teach people how to accept themselves and accept others, embrace their authenticity. You're meant to heal the world, to change the world. So grow that thick skin. Step back into your joy and let yourself be seen. Group three, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you would like a personalized coaching or a private reading, feel free to find my email listed in the description box below. Thank you for sharing your energy, and I cannot wait to see what you put out into this world. Love you so much. Goodbye.